So in this video, we are going to be adding an image to our point in our autobiographical map. So earlier, I placed a point in Moonstone Beach, which was um, one of my stops along the Pacific Coast Highway uh, last year. And so what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back into edit mode, click on my point, and I've got two boxes here, image URL and image link URL. The image URL is going to allow us to put a thumbnail of a picture that we would like shown with our point, while the image link URL is going to allow, when somebody clicks on the image, it'll allow them to take them to either a larger version of that image or to another page. So what I'm going to do, in order to have the image URL work, you have to have your own photos uploaded to something like Picasa or Flickr or Facebook and they have to be public if you are using one of your own images. If you're using an image um, off of Google Image Search or something like that, that's fine as long as you're thinking about copyright with your students. Um, so for me, mine are in my pictures of my California trip are in my, I have a few in my uh, Picasa web album. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this picture of Moonstone Beach and I'm going to go to view image because at the end of this link, you can see that it says .jpeg right here. This is going to allow the um, image thumbnail to come up. You want that .jpeg or that .png, that's what's going to allow the, the thumbnail to come up onto your point. So I'm going to click on this link and I am going to copy the entire thing and I'm going to go into my map and I am going to delete this HTTP and I'm going to copy the entire image URL in here. So when I now click close, I go in out of my edit mode and I click onto my point. Now I have this beautiful picture of Moonstone Beach as the sun is setting in my point. And I can leave it here. That, that's totally ideal. It won't, um, uh, people won't be able to get out to a larger version of your image, but if this is if this is enough for your autobiography, you're welcome to leave it here. If you would like this to link out to something else, so for example, I was thinking that what mine could link out to is to the visitor site of Moonstone Beach. What I'm going to do is here in this image link URL, I'm going to place this Moonstone Beach link so that not only will people see the photo, but when they click on it, they can get more information about Moonstone Beach. Uh, this is really great when you're using uh, primary sources, uh, for example, within your, within your class, because the kids can link out and they can really see a large image from the Library of Congress and really analyze whatever that source is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Close. And I'm just going to double check and make sure that this works. So I'm out of edit mode, clicking on my point. And when I mouse over this, now I see my little hand has popped up. And when I click on it, it looks like it is currently waiting for the page. And there we go. This is going to click out to Moonstone Beach. And so now any visitors to my page can get information about Moonstone Beach if they're interested in going to that uh, area. And that's how you add an image in ArcGIS online.